Hi all folks, this is Max from Galaxias to Root.com. I hope you enjoyed uh, my latest video why you should buy um, Android. <laughs> anyway, um, I've got uh, another ROM review for the AT&T Galaxy um, S2. This is the ROM. Actually, I'm running. I freaking love AOKP. I'm running it like, and runs pretty flawless on here. Um, let me show you some of the mods I've been doing. Um, that way. You know, it's not just installing the ROM, also having the um, mods on here. First of all, I've got the uh, lock screen, so sideways or this way. And I've got my calendar from my uh, Google Calendar, just syncing all everything that i got to do this week. Um, that's all there. And I've got um, Xenomax instead of AT&T there. That's my custom carrier label. And I've got quad uh, unlocking screen, so I can go straight to um, my Gmail or I can go to straight to my... Um, web browser. Um, you can also even get eight of these things. Um, it's called the Octo. I'll show you the settings. So that that's what I have on there. And then uh, let me show you the software here. Um, I know usually I've been getting better at uh, ROM control now. I just tweak it just the way I like it now. I'm also running C a kernel um, so I can dual boot, which runs fine. And also I can. Um, I can overclock it to uh, one point. I've got it at, um, I'll show you. So the best thing about this uh, ROM is that it comes with ROM control, um, which allows you to do all of this. Um, so let's start with general UI. Let me just walk you through what I'm using because I think you know everybody sh should use this. Um, so I allowed 180 degree uh, rotation. Um, so you can go, go that way, um, upside down. In the recent window style, I highly suggest try the web OS style. It's kind of cool. I'll show you that in a bit. And uh, uh, let me see. These are all default. You can change your custom label to uh, whatever you want. And enable hold back to kill. Um, so you can kill apps if you hold the, um, down the back button, which I'll show you also. And rotation delay, I put it at 10 milliseconds. So it's it rotates faster. Oh, sorry. That, it's not going to happen on the home screen, but there you go. And let me show you the uh, app killer. If you hold down the back button, it's going to kill your app instantly. Save you a lot of headache. Something you can't do on an iPhone, even if you jailbreak it. So that's why you should treat that. <laughs> okay, let's go on here. Uh, what else was I going to show you? Um, you, can even, uh, you can even mess with the toggles here. I, I've added my torch here, which is really cool. And also, I've got uh, my torch enabled. Um, if I'm in the dark, and then I can just whoop out my phone, hold down the power button, and uh, voila, I've got flashlight. If I let go, flashlight will turn off. So that is really cool. I mean, even if you have a flashlight app in your phone, it's useless unless you can actually use it like right away. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, open your your phone? Like, you're gonna do this? Open it? And then you know, hit the flash app, a uh, flashlight app, and then press on. Versus you know, it's off. You just hold down the power button. Um, it makes sense. You know, they should do this on any kind of smartphone. Like that's why it's smart, not because you, you know, you can go with these apps and stuff. Um, so let me show you some more of the ROM control settings. It's really cool, right? Um, in the lock screen options, you can uh, change the lock screen style to quad or octo um, if you want to enable four or eight apps and once you change that you'll have an option at the bottom to add your custom apps here um, I've got it on calculator just go to custom app applications and choose any of the apps that you want to run straight from your um, straight from your uh, lock screen um, so that's that and also you can enable horizontal lock screen and also you can enable fast torch that the one I just showed you holding down the power button um, and also um, you can enable the lock screen calendar enable it and uh, calendar sources you can even choose um, I've got it set to my Gmail which hooks up to my Gmail uh, calendar um, also you can change the time range I want to see everything going on for the next, this whole week also multiple events and also you can make the flip interval to one second. That way you don't have to wait. You can see exactly what's going on. Boop, boop, boop. Um, so that's my schedule this week. And uh, 
I guess that's it for lock screen and power options. Um, this is where you can enable torch toggle, um, another way to get to toggle. Um, like I don't use airplanes, so I don't need that. Like you know. Um, also screenshot, you can do it. So anytime you need a screenshot, hold down the power button and hit the screenshot button. So that's another more ways of optimizing your phone. So um, let's go. You can do weather. I don't really use that one. Power saver. Um, general toggles. There's more toggles here. Um, okay, so you can mess with that. And for performance, um, I've got it. It's a little bit iffy at 1.6 gigahertz with the AOKP. I don't, I'm not sure why. So I've got it at 1.4 gigahertz, which is still pretty fast. I was having some trouble with lulls active. Uh, sometimes my phone would reboot. So I got it at SmartAss V2, which is a pretty good governor. Um, I would recommend uh, that or interactive or on demand. Uh, you can try all of them and see which one works best for you. And free memory, set it to 100. Um, that way you always have at least 100 um, megabytes free. And set it at boot. So set it at boot. Set everything at boot here. And uh, this fast charge is cool. Um, basically, uh, it'll, it'll basically charge your phone um, after each reboot. Yeah, it's it's gonna charge your. Uh, it's basically you can connect it to your computer. It won't connect it as a USB drive, but it'll charge it. So it will charge faster. Um, like if you're in the car and you need to charge fast, and you're you're not gonna be using USB. Check that on and uh, you know charge it. All right, and uh, I guess that's about it. Um, pretty solid ROM. Other than that, even without overclocking, AOKP runs really flawless on my uh, phone here. Um, everything very fast, lag free. Um, love it. Oops, love it. Yeah, just just touch there. And uh, I, I really love it. So definitely check it out. This is the ROM of the week. Um, another ROM of the week for at and Galaxy S2. And I've got AOKP coming next for T-Mobile, um, which I'll probably do the identical thing um, just to show you. And uh, it's a good, great, great ROM. I love it. I think this is one of the best ROMs. Um, this is what I'm running. Um, it's still in beta, so sometimes it might reboot. Um, again, play with the performance settings and uh, find the one that works for you, and you should be all good to go. And uh, go ahead and install it, and uh, you'll love this ROM. Anyway, I'll have updates on this also. Um, and uh, if you have an AT&T Galaxy S2 or any of the Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS2root.com. We update you once or twice a week when I have time, and um, it's a great way for you to communicate with me. And I don't share your email with anyone else but my dog. Um, and uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button up here if you have, thanks a lot, and share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. And uh, stay high on Android, folks, and go if you have an AT&T Galaxy S2, go ahead and try AOKP. It's a pretty fun um, experience, love it. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I forgot to show you um, the coolest part about this version of uh, this version is that uh, a lot of people were asking me, I actually was running this ROM over the whole weekend and I had it in some of my videos and uh, people were asking me, where do you get that keyboard that flips out? So it comes with this ROM just for this AT&T variant. I don't know why, um, but it's really cool, right? Oh, that's a really cool effect. Anyway, see y'all later. Have a great week. Stay high on Android. Don't be on iHeart.